I am so excited. I wanted to share this news with you. I got my first catering order on Grubhub. It was so neat. And in this video, I'm going to share my expectations that I had going into the order, how it went, and then afterwards, how did that pay my time and effort work out? My name is Russ. I started off doing rideshare, quickly got into food delivery. Now I've been doing food delivery and grocery shopping part-time for almost five years. I love sharing what I learn with you. That way you can skip past my mistakes and you can earn more money by improving your tips and ratings. So let's get right into it. I had a little bit of concern when I first got this catering order and I'll tell you about that in a minute, but how it started. I was finishing an order on Grubhub. It was already dropped off. And then I looked on the phone and I saw this notification that said something about an add to queue. And I saw it was a Mexican restaurant, $20. Yeah, I touched it. I kind of thought, oh, maybe I was too late. Finished that order, and then I went and looked at my phone. There was nothing there. It was gone. So I thought, well, I guess it was a glitch in the app. Oh, well. So I got on Uber Eats, Instacart. I was doing other food delivery apps and didn't think anything of it. Several hours went by, and the day was ending. I was on my last delivery, and wouldn't you know, I got this notification from Grubhub, and it said something about my catering order was almost ready. I thought, what? <laughs> this is crazy. So I pulled over, and I looked on the app. I couldn't find anything. So let me show you how to get to that now. If you look, I was looking under tasks, scheduling, but actually if you look on the main screen here, that hamburger on the right, if you touch that, it says task list. You have no upcoming or scheduled tasks. And I had that as a scheduled task, so that's where I found it. So since I was already committed, I didn't wanna jeopardize anything. I know you can make some pretty good money doing catering orders. So I headed over to the restaurant early because, you know, I don't have enough time to take another order and I don't want to play around. So I went over there and it was a few miles away. And when I got there, I got my bags out of the trunk because I wanted to be ready. So join me. Let's go over here and I'll show you. All right. So as you can see here, I have quite a variety of food delivery bags in my trunk just for things like this. I had the uh, traditional Grubhub one, the really cheap flimsy one. I have this Blue Voy bag and it's really strong and insulated. And I use that when I put it in the uh, folding wagon. And then finally, I had this gigantic Grubhub one. They sent this to me when I had done either 50 or 100 orders. You know, it's for pizza, or I use it also putting a lot of grocery bags in here. So I brought these into the restaurant and I announced myself and they said, oh yes, they could show me the big uh, receipt on the wall. And they just said, have a seat. It's not till 4.45. And I think by now it was about 4.30. So I just waited patiently. So pretty soon time flew by and then two guys came out and you know what? They were each carrying a gigantic cardboard box full of food. So I was so happy I knew, hey, I'm not gonna need these bags. And even better, they offered to go out to my car and place the food in the car. Thank you, that is really great. So we made our way out to the car and you can see here in this video from the dash cam, you can see the guys with that giant box um, I took one from each and then slid it in the back seat. Very easy. It wasn't hard at all. And when I had been in the app inside, I forgot to mention I was looking in there and I could see that it was 14 dinners and it had chicken tortilla soup. So I thought, whoa, I better be very gentle with this. And of course, you want to be gentle with all your customers' food, no matter what it is. Soon after, the workers left and then I put these in the trunk. So with those bags safely in the trunk, I took my Osmo and you can see now, look at this video as I look over into the back seat, look at the size of those two boxes packed full of food. And I wanted to be very careful with that. Next, I got on the app and I saw the location for the customer and I went to go deliver it to him. It was only a couple miles away, not a big deal at all. I did drive very slowly because I didn't want anything to shake around. And as I got into the neighborhood, I did notice there was a car behind me and I'm sure they were a little frustrated because I was going slow. As I approached the house, I pulled over to the side and then that car, that SUV went around me. So I got out, I got that first box and as I'm going up there, the customer comes out of the door and I hand him the box and in his hand, look at that, a $20 bill. He was giving me a cash tip and he said, here, take this. So I slid it in my pocket and I said, thank you so much and I'll get your next box. And then I headed back to the car 
got the second one, and then handed it to him. And I said, thank you. Have a great event. Have a good weekend. And I was so happy. As I was leaving back to my car, I did notice the people coming in. And you know what? That other car was from the same dinner party. So I knew that they could see the care I had taken by driving so carefully. So overall, this was a huge win. And I'm so glad I got to do this catering order. Now you may ask, how did it turn out? Well, let's look in the app. So you can see here that it's the Mexican restaurant. It said that I earned $9 for my time, 89 cents for my mileage, 2.62 miles, and a $10 tip. When you combine that with this $20 cash tip, I made $40. That was great. And it took me a total of 45 minutes if you count me sitting and waiting until I was done. Even at 45 minutes, look at the pay on this. If you take $40 divided by 45 minutes, that works out to $53 an hour. That is really good. And the miles, obviously three miles, that's insane. But if you even say 20 miles, say I drove 10 there and back, that's $2 per mile. I'll take orders like that all day. Overall, the pay was great. So you may ask, how can you get one of those too? Well, in the video description, I'll link the website. It's the Grubhub support site. And in there, you can see this thing about catering orders. It does say the qualifications basically have to be good at what you do. And then also under pay, it says that these types of orders usually pay a lot because of increased tips. And you know what? They were right. So please share in the comments below, have you gotten a catering order from Grubhub? How did it go? And if you did, please tell me if you got more. Did you have to do anything? Hopefully they keep sending them. I would love to do more of these catering orders. So overall, this was a huge positive experience for me. I am so grateful that I got that order. And now I know to pay even closer attention if I see something like this again, if it's scheduled, I'm gonna take it. Ideally, it'd be nice to do the catering order right when they send it to you. I'm sure you know your market just like I know mine. Hopefully you have a variety of apps that you use. So if one's slow, maybe another's busy. Have you ever considered trying a different market? Well, I had a trip planned already. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go there and when I come back, I'm gonna see how much money I can make. And so I have this video for your consideration next to check out. It's gonna give you some insights into what I discovered and something for you to think about as well before you take a leap of faith like this and try to go find more money. Maybe the grass is greener, maybe not, but check that out. And I do appreciate your attention and I'll see you in my next video.